Hello guys, today I'm here to tell you how, when, where, and what time I found out that I was pregnant. I want to tell you the little story time of why I even thought about taking a pregnancy and why I recorded it. Um, I do have footage of me finding out and literally freaking out. I don't think that I said a word. <laughs> literally just looked at the pregnancy test and I was like, no way the video is just going to be of me finding out i'm pregnant of course after this we will follow with how i told jonathan and then our family and our friends reactions so i'm so excited today i am exactly 12 weeks and four days pregnant and i just couldn't wait to tell you guys any longer this is all i think about all i talk about and not only that i have had a really rough first trimester i don't think people talk about it enough about how rough the first trimester can be because mine was not an exception it was really really hard and the like second day that i know i was pregnant was really rough so i have just a lot to catch you guys up on you guys haven't known for three months and i just think it's time for you guys to know i found out on may 19th that i was pregnant so exactly one day prior to me finding out i was pregnant we were at dinner with our really good friends luis and noemi and we were at the crawling crab so we were eating seafood boil and i love it so so I was eating it literally just digging in eating everything and at the end like when I finished my food I was like I'm sick like I'm gonna throw up and I have to throw up right now like I have to go to the bathroom to throw up but I was like no maybe I just ate too fast I ate too much whatever so I tried to keep my puke down because I hate throwing up it's like a phobia so <laughs> I didn't and then after that after dinner I always want dessert always Always. There's, there hasn't been one time when I'm too full to have dessert. So my friends were like, oh, let's go to your favorite cookie place, which is Crumble. And I was like, yes, let's go. I'm so excited. We get the cookies. I open the box and I get super, super nauseous. And I'm like, what the heck? Why am I nauseous? And it was this feeling that I've never felt before, not even when I've been super, super full. I've never felt this like weird, excruciating nauseousness in my body. So I was like, okay, that's a little bit weird, a little bit sus. So then we got home and I was nauseous all night. And then the next day, May 19th, I was nauseous all day. But it wasn't even like a little bit nauseous here and there because even when I was in high school, every morning I would get nauseous. So I was like, maybe it's my stomach problems coming back. But heck no, girl. I was like excruciatingly, overwhelmingly nauseous. I felt like I had to throw up every second of the day. So at around 3 p.m. after I dropped off my mom from picking her up from work, I went to get a pregnancy test. And it was my suegros were still living with us. So my suegros were home. The kids were home. Jonathan was home. Everyone was just having a nice summer day. And I was like, I need to go take this pregnancy test because maybe I'm pregnant. Maybe I'm just going to get my period because I was supposed to get my period the following week. Maybe I was like, maybe it's just a little bit early. I don't know. So I say it here in my video. I say, I don't know if these are period symptoms or pregnancy symptoms. So I'm going to take a test just in case. And my entire relationship, Jonathan has said that he wants to be super, super surprised when I tell him I'm pregnant. And you guys know that we kept saying that no hasta que cumplamos 30 años i kept saying 30 years old i'll have pre i'll get pregnant and i'm waiting a couple more years and you know pero como dicen todos uno pone dios dispone god has a plan and he probably was laughing at me when i said that i wanted to wait till i was 30 he was like girl really so <laughs> i get home and um sneakily i go up to the restroom and i take the test and i don't get me wrong i've taken a couple pregnancy tests this year because you guys know i've taken a couple plan b's this year if you follow me on tiktok you know um so a little side note i do want to address this because people saw me take a plan b in april when i was visiting gabby and gabe in arizona and everyone's saying oh i'm so happy it didn't work blah 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 no that time it worked girl <laughs> um i didn't get pregnant then i got pregnant in may so that time it did work but this time I didn't take a plan B, which is so freaking crazy. So I was used to taking pregnancy tests and I was completely used to looking at the pregnancy test. Oh, not pregnant. Okay, throw it away. Go along with my day. Nothing crazy. And this time I put it down and this is what happened next. Don't know if I have pregnancy symptoms or periods.
there you have it. That is how I found out that I was pregnant. It was an absolute shock. I didn't cry. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I just looked at it and I was like, there's no way. I was so, like, out of this world. Like, I didn't, I've never felt that shock in my life ever because I have never had a false pregnancy test, a false positive on a pregnancy test. So I was like, is this real? Should I trust it? Should I take five more? I don't know if it's a false positive. Who knows? But... The, the chances of you getting a false positive are very slim, which I read on Google. So I didn't know what to do. I was like, I obviously want to surprise Jonathan if I'm really pregnant and I cannot tell anybody because I want it to be a surprise for literally everyone. And my only thought was I need someone to help me. I need someone to tell right this second. So I texted my sister-in-law. She had just gone to work literally as soon as I got home to take the pregnancy test I said bye for her to go to work so I texted her and I was like yomis and I just put like in all caps I texted her it delivered and I was like I don't know what to do I'm freaking out and she's like what and I just sent her a picture of the pregnancy test and she started freaking out she was like what are you pranking me like this better not be a prank because she has been wanting to be an amp for so long so we were just like texting back and forth and I was like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. She's like, I'm literally crying at work right now. I just got here and I'm crying. And she was freaking out at work. I was freaking out here in the bathroom. And I was like, if I go out like this, Jonathan's going to be like, what's wrong? Because he knows me like the back of his hand, right? So then she texted me. She's like, let's take one when I get home from work just to make sure. I was like, okay. So I just sat there in the bathroom and I was like, let's calm down and put your actress face on. I put the pregnancy test in a tampon box and I was like this is perfect Jonathan never opens these doors and he never ever looks into a tampon box why would he so I just hit the pregnancy test in the tampon box put it in there looked at myself in the mirror hugged myself up and went along the day the whole day I was just thinking 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 like when could it have happened Jonathan and I are careful we take care of each other and I was just going nuts. My head was going nuts. I was shaking and thank God Jonathan didn't catch on to anything that was happening. So it was the longest five hours of my life. When my um, sister-in-law got home, Jonathan was still awake. So I was like, if I go downstairs, he's going to ask me like what I'm doing and he's going to be a little chismoso and see what I'm doing talking to his sister downstairs about. So I texted her and I was like, hey, Jonathan's still awake. Let's take a pregnancy test tomorrow morning because I usually wake up super early and way earlier than him. So the next morning, I get up. It's like 7 in the morning and I'm like, let's take a pregnancy so this is her reaction to finding out that I am pregnant. Hey guys, it's the next day. Nobody knows except me. Nobody knows except my sister-in-law. I didn't know who to tell, so I told my sister-in-law. I did want to save my sister-in-law's reaction to the pregnancy test 
in our family's reaction but she was such a big part of the first day that I found out I was pregnant and just the first hours before anybody else knew it was just me and her which I think shares such a special bond I love 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 my sister-in-law and I just feel like this created such a special bond it was only me and her like being complices and being like it's just me and you that know so that is how it happened that is how I found out I was pregnant on the May 19th and then on May 20th my sister-in-law and I confirmed I was pregnant and then we go into Jonathan, how I told Jonathan and all of that but that is going to be on our combined channel J&J &J Vlogs. Jonathan has been wanting to be a dad ever since the day we met. Literally if he could he would have impregnated me when I was 18 so this was just such a beautiful beautiful thing for both of us and it is just it's crazy because i look at my life now and i'm like i'm living the life that i prayed for that i would talk to god about and this is literally my life like he gifted me this life so i did get a couple of questions asking me how i felt because as you guys know i have said my entire YouTube career that I am waiting until I'm 30 to have babies that I didn't want to have babies yet and all of that so like I said at the beginning uno pone Dios dispone this was actually legitimately God's plan so I'm going to tell you guys where we conceived <laughs> we actually conceived in our favorite city in the United States which is Tampa um, we were visiting Lily and Mando for Lily Bay's birthday. Now, before you guys get super shocked and concerned, um, it was actually after La Peda del Sábado. So, Lily Fest was on May 1st, and Jonathan and I got pregnant on May 6th. So, after I got super blacked out drunk is when I got pregnant, which was what I was most concerned about. I was like, God, if I'm pregnant, please, please, please make it have been after the Lily Fest because I got so drunk. If you saw my vlog, you know. I got so drunk, so God, please, please, please make it after. So, Bicho Yecho, it was on May 6th. We confirmed it with a doctor and we went back and it was literally the one and only time that Jonathan um, and I exchanged love in Tampa because we never really express our love when we're on vacation and trips, especially when we're staying with our friends. And so yes, Baby J was conceived in Tampa, which is amazing, our favorite freaking city in the United States. So, so that's when the baby was conceived. And to not go into explicit detail, um, it is a one and only time that we were for sure about nothing happening nothing slipping and it was the one and only time where i didn't take a plan b <laughs> so um it's a little bit crazy out here when they say that breakup can get you pregnant they are not lying listen to the doctors kids so yes we conceived in tampa and i think that is just the happiest thing we conceived in tampa our favorite city at one of our closest friends house which is so crazy kind of cringy to say sorry lily mando they already know this um so yes jonathan and i were super super shocked when i found out i was like how far along am i what the heck even happened so if i'm right i found out super early on like we conceived may 6th and i found out oh shoot i literally found out two weeks after <laughs> I definitely got morning sickness very early on that is that is basically how, why I took a pregnancy test because I was having morning sickness and it was out of the normal for me for sure so that is crazy that's a very very crazy so when we were at the doctor we're like are you sure they're like yes we are positive because something happened where I had to be rushed to the emergency room and I was really really scared and all of that is gonna be in the next couple of vlogs I don't want to bore you guys right now I just wanted to share this beautiful moment of me finding out that I'm pregnant when I say beautiful moment I do mean shocking because I did nothing but stare at the pregnancy test in disbelief <laughs> I was literally staring at the pregnancy test and I was like is someone pranking me right now because I don't believe it <laughs> so that's how I found out I was pregnant and in the next couple of vlogs you'll see Jonathan's reaction, our family's reaction, why I went to the emergency room and was had to be kept overnight and just everything else. Nonetheless, I am super happy and thankful especially with God because I am so, so blessed to even be able to carry a baby. 
I see so many people on YouTube struggle with infertility and that is the one thing that I will never take for granted. I have thanked God so many times, thanking him for giving me the opportunity to carry a baby and especially my high school sweetheart husband's baby. So I am thankful, I am happy, I just feel overwhelmed with love today is actually when i'm filming this it's a day before you watch it which is tuesday and we announced on monday and we have been showered with love you guys don't even understand how blessed we feel to have you and to literally have so many people around the world be happy for our pregnancy so yes without dragging this video too far along i just feel like i have so much tea to spill so so much and i want to catch my best friends up on it so i will be doing it in the course of the next videos but i do want to put out my pregnant workout routine which yes i have been working out while pregnant um it is completely safe and i my doctor has cleared me to work out and do all of that so i want to show you guys just everything i feel like i've been keeping too much in for the last three months and in the next video you guys will see how i hid it you will see the pictures that i posted on instagram versus what i actually looked like and all of that so i hope you guys are so excited to see our journey to be part of our journey thank you guys so much for being here with me being here for me and going through this with us so i love you so much i appreciate you so so much and i'll see you in my next video but until then please always remember god goes glowing and growing